hey guys welcome back to the channel so we are continuing with our php calculator so guys this is the ui all user interface we designed using some simple html and simple bootstrap so once when the user enters the first number here second number here chooses the operator and the moment he clicks calculate we get the answer in this blank field you're seeing here so that's what we are going to be working on or writing the code for so guys if you're new to this channel and you have accessed this video first please make sure you check out the first video where we designed this form how we arranged it yeah and you'll be good to go and be with us on the same level so i'm going to leave the link in the description below of the first video if in case you never watched it please go back and see how we started so what i'm going to do if you are following we gave this select tag the name of operate so it's supposed to be operators since we are working with operators arithmetic operators we give it a name of operator and if we scroll down here we created a div but we never put anything inside it this div and we gave it an id of answer and this is the div you're seeing here so the reason why i told you to go back and watch the previous tutorial you have to see how we style this div so basically this is the div with the id of answer we want when the user enters information on this side the answer is displayed here what you're going to do is go in between that div the opening and closing and inside here is where we are going to write our php code so i'll write this php opening tag and also php the closing tag so this is the php opening tag and this is the closing tag in between the php opening and closing tag is where we are going to be writing our code right now we have to check for the event of click when somebody clicks this calculate button and we gave it the name of submit so right now i'll say if open these curly brackets so if is set it's like saying if it's clicked if it's set we are going to create this global variable of post so here we get the name of that button which is supposed to be clicked and the name is submit so make sure you write the same name as you can see here it is submit so make sure i put your submit so if it's set we want now to get create some custom variables which will store the numbers which are being input here by the user or even the arithmetic operator entered by the user or cho chosen by the user so we are going to create our own variables i'll call mine result one you can name it anything like answer one or number one or number two so anything you want so i'll call mine result one and i say equals this global variable of post and what we want to do is to capture the first the first field this one but we want to capture it using its name we gave to it so the name is fnum short for first number so we are capturing the value what which will be input there so if they put five five will be stored in this variable of result one so create another variable of result two and we say equals underscore post and we want to capture the second number and yeah that's the name we gave to it it is s num short for second number as you can see here it's s num short for second number so basically we have captured the first number which will be entered in the first field with the name of f num the second one which will be entered in the field of s num with the field having this name of s num so if i put five five will come and be stored in this result one here if i put 10 10 will be stored in this variable of result 2 so basically we have captured that now let us capture the operator which 
the user will choose so in case somebody chooses a plus or subtraction multiplication or division so anything like that so i'll call this one i'll create my variable so you can name it anything you want for me i've called called it sign and i'll create my global variable here of post and i want to target this select element or select tag so we gave it the name of operator whoa operator so we have to target it by the name here operator basically right now we have captured everything that the user will be entering here and choosing from here now you can use the if if else statement but i find it too long and it may be confusing to you guys so we are going to use the switch statement so what you have tried is switch open these brackets and the carry brackets so this is the syntax of a switch statement it says switch and what you're going to be targeting and open the carry brackets so what we want to target it's the sign variable sign so basing on what the person chooses here is what we shall carry out the arithmetic operation for if somebody chooses plus we shall call out the arithmetic operation of a plus sign so we are going to go here and we say switch so basing on the sign the person chooses is the car is the action we want to take place here so we shall say case none i'm going to explain what this does and we say echo and we say please choose at least one operator so if the user tries to calculate when there is none here they will display for him or her please choose at least one operator i guess you are understanding now this line if it remains on none and the user tries to click the calculate button they will display this answer to him or her please choose at least one operator i guess now you are getting it so here we break off we don't want it to continue executing so here we break off the action write another case shall say case so these are strings if the sign is a plus symbol we shall echo out then we want to echo out dollar sign result one plus dollar sign result two and we break off the execution so i guess now you're understanding if the symbol is a plus we want to get the first number which was entered in this field plus the second number which was entered in this field remember i said if the user enters 5 here 5 will be stored in result 1 if you or she enters 10 here 10 will be stored in result 2 so here we are saying if the first number if the sign is this then let them add the first number plus the second number and we break off guess now you see how easy it is to use a switch statement so we shall drop down and we say case if the sign is a minus or subtraction symbol we shall echo out this result one minus result two i guess you're seeing how easy it is and we break off so I'm just going to copy this because basically I have explained everything to you. So if it is some if it is x, remember here we used x as the human beings we consider this to be a multiplication symbol. 
but when we come here we are not going to write x because it's like a string the php or computer takes this asterisk as the multiplication symbol so for us on the interface we shall choose x but basically or logically behind the code it's considering this to be as the multiplication symbol i guess now you're getting it now the last case will be for division so if somebody chooses this symbol like this or sign we are going to put this as division so this is the division operator the computer understands or php understands or any other language that understands so basically those are the operators we said if somebody tries to execute when there is none this is the message which will be displayed to him or her please choose at least one operator so let us save that and refresh so this is it and we, when we enter like 30 plus oh we enter the second number like 30 and we choose plus the moment we click calculate they will display here 60 so 30 plus 30 we shall get 60 so guys you have been seeing this clear button but if you're a beginner if somebody is a beginner and is watching doesn't understand what it does so when someone has entered this and at last decides to clear the form we just click this clear button and the form will remain empty so let's say five two the operator is multiplication and we click we click this we shall get 10 so five times two it is 10 so we, shall, we can go and even increase on the font size of our answer by targeting this div and we say font size font size of 30 pixels refresh this web page so we shall say 5 2 and we say divide and we click calculate this is what we shall be having 2.5 so our calculator is working guys thanks for watching please if you're new to the channel subscribe always like the videos share them on different social medias and as always i'll be seeing you in the next tutorials this is the code you're seeing here and we use the switch statement to calculate it oh then what i have not shown you is like when you create a 200 800 and the person forgets to put the operator and tries to click the calculate button they will say please choose at least one operator so this is what will be executed to the user and don't confuse yourself i know guys you have not seen the default statement if you put it here you run into errors because what we are supposed to write in case the stuff was not really chosen here we will not put this statement here it would be the default the default echo or result but basically for me i put it as the first case so there was no need for the default statement here at last guys subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorials